Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the summary for the day of 344 for the 2nd of February. Uh, let's start off with uh, the Southern Front which there's no news. On the Zaporizhia line, uh, there is only the only fighting is reported over at Potavka according to the Russian Defense Ministry where uh, they launched an attack over this region here somewhere near towards Potavka. They're definitely not at Potavka. They're just fighting towards and um, otherwise uh, there is just a lot of reports of Ukrainian reinforcement coming into the Zaporizhia region we have reinforcement uh, reported at Novo Danilivka at Bilohoria uh, below here yeah which is actually this one I think I spelled wrongly here yeah below here yeah and uh, there's reinforcement reported at Huaypo or Huaypole Chevon Chevon or Chevone and also at Shevchenko uh, so this is actually um, in reaction to a possible new Russian Zaporizhia offensive, which is why the Ukrainians are actually reinforcing the line in preparation for it. Uh, there's no indication, uh, clear at least not to me, that the Russians will try it again uh, just yet. And moving on to the Donetsk front, uh, over at the Voleda region, the Battle of Voleda has uh, have become an anticlimax uh, with the fighting becoming uh, positional uh, mainly only fought with artillery so uh, russian defense ministry reported that they are using artillery attacks and some active operations uh, conducted by the vostok group of forces and uh, but you know there isn't really anything much to report about in voleda as i mentioned in the uh, in the update on voleda that the mining around Voleda makes it really impossible for the Russians to actually conduct any more uh, attack over in this region here. I think I believe I reported yesterday in the SIP rep. Moving on, uh, we do not have any reports of fighting in Crimea or Crimea region, which is uh, pretty interesting to me because we have seen fighting here daily uh, for months already. Uh, so there's a there's a pause, a hiatus. And moving on to the Povomaiske region or Piski region, there's fighting reported at Povomaiske according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, otherwise, this area also did not really see much reporting uh, from, from the sources that I'm following. Moving on, uh, New York front, I have nothing to report. And moving on, uh, did I miss any aircraft? No. And moving on to the Bakhmut front. Bakhmut front, the Russian forces is currently attacking towards... Uh, sorry around Kadyomivka. these are reported by ukrainian defense ministry uh, ukrainian defense ministry do not really talk much about the, the direction of where the fighting is moving towards or from they only say uh they always just use the area of settlements so they are fighting uh, there's fighting around the area of Kadyomivka. uh over in the klishievka region uh fighting is reported towards the Poshki, according to Ryba, and uh, there's also fighting reported uh, near Ivanivsky, according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Uh, in the southwest of uh, Bakhmut, uh, there is fighting in the forest with the Russians moving closer and closer towards the highway between uh, Bakhmut and Konstantinivka. Interesting thing is that the uh, the pro-Russian source, the Ryba, reported that this highway is the Kosh Chasifia and Bakhmut Highway. And I believe they are still referring to the same highway that's actually moving all the way to Konstantinivka because uh, I would not use this as a Chasifia bakhmut Highway. It kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me because it doesn't really link to Chasifia. You have to go through the, uh, the small road to move towards... Uh, Chasifia, yeah. you know, there's either this junction here or this junction here. Uh, so maybe, you know, maybe there's a road sign and moving to Chasifia. So they call it the Chasifia Bakhmut Highway. Can we go in? No, there's nothing to drop in. Uh, so, yeah, so this this is happening. Uh, reinforcement uh, has been reported at Chasifia, you no, know, and also reported at Stuposhki. This comes in the contrast to uh, some rumors of partial redrawal from Ivanivsky. So there is a possibility where the, the Russian forces might actually, uh, sorry, the Ukrainian forces might actually considering uh, evacuating the entire Bakhmut and towards the next defense line, which is actually uh, Stuboshki, 
Chasifia, no, and maybe you no know, along the river or the or you no know, or here. No, maybe this is the new line of defense that they might be considering. So and uh, surround and around Constantinovka. I think this might be the new line of defense that they might be exploring, which is why there's reinforcement moving towards Chasifia and Stuposhki. Especially for Chasifia, the Ukrainians have been uh, reinforcing this area for a lot of times. Uh, for many, many times, many, many days, we are seeing reinforcement coming to this area and we have reports that uh, this this uh, town is actually you know, uh, having active preparation of fortifications. So uh, the Russian forces... Uh, uh, move, are currently attacking in the north they are attacking you know strongly in the east they are moving moving from the south and they are actually trying to approach the highway towards Ivaniske and eventually cut off the highway and capture Ivaniske so if this is captured then uh, the only retreat route left would be you no know, true Kromove and which is why the, uh, the Ukrainian forces may have to abandon the city to save themselves they can fight heroically, uh, hero heroically, and uh, sacrifice their life. You know, fight to the end, kind of thing, like the you know the Imperial Japanese soldiers or you know, uh, or the German soldiers in Stalingrad. But it's it's mindless because there is a major reinforcement coming for the Ukrainian side. So it's more wise to keep your forces, withdraw backwards, uh, form a new line of defense, save your troops, and just give up this this town no it's not worth it to you know it's not worth it to hold this town uh unnecessarily uh with high casualties uh of course you can argue how much casualties are there on both sides but the reality is the russians are pushing forward uh and uh even if they lose 1000 soldiers every day they're still moving forward so uh no point you no know, uh, sacrificing your life there so anyway moving further up north oh sorry at Bakhmut itself there is fighting reported uh, on the ne uh, Nekrasov street uh, Nekrasov street is actually you know this street uh, this street here this street here and uh, there is also fighting reported at the Tatutina lane so you no know, the Tatutina lane is actually uh, this one uh, did it come out no Oh, sorry. Vatutina lane is this one. Sorry. Yeah, kind of like this lane here. This Vatutina lane. The other fighting was around this lane. So the, the fighting is actually mainly around around this region here. Around this region here. And uh, there is also fighting reported over at the Dobrio, Dobro Lyubova street, which is actually, you know, uh, this street here. So there is fighting around this area as well. So the Russians are pushing you no know, in this direction, in this direction, this direction. And uh this area here they are definitely actually also attacking because they actually secured the region here. So this is the direction uh that they are fighting in, uh in the grand scale of Bakhmut, uh which is only mainly just like that. If we zoom out, it's just like that. Uh, but we do know that there is fighting reported here and the front line actually got uh, cleaned up a bit uh, previously there's an overlapping front line over here but deep state ua reported a uh, joe location that shows russian forces in this position here which means that the the russians do have a good uh, some control around this region here so around 100 kilometers uh, in the in the in the radius which means the front line is probably just as per how uh, we have been mapping the Russian map. So the Ukrainian map has moved backwards. So this is the, the clear uh, indication that the Russians are actually moving from the south upwards. So uh, moving further up north in the uh, Blachodatne, Krasnohora, Paraskovievka region, there is also a geolocation by Deep State UA in the position here which actually uh, corroborated our mapping that the Russians have pushed south towards Blahodatne and they are currently in this position here with the Ukrainians currently holding the defense in the in the uh, settlement itself. So this is actually how it looks like. So um, over at Krasnohorivka, the Russian forces is currently still attacking uh, from multiple angles and they are also attacking towards Paraskovievka. And uh, so this is the situation here uh, the reports are by 
Raiba and uh, the, yeah, both is by Raiba. Uh, there is no fighting around Blahodatne or uh, Soleda, uh, not that we know of. And uh, over at the north of Soleda is where the big news is with the Russians capturing Mikolaivka. I have done a quick update on this situation at Mikolaivka, so you can do check it out at the DPA War Channel. And um, and the fighting was so the Ukrainians only reported the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's today's uh, morning report only reported that there they repulsed an attack over at Mikolaivka, but uh. The news from the pro-Russian side has already progressed away from that. With Deep State UA also uh, also agree that this area, uh, this settlement have been captured by the Russian forces. And the Russian forces is actually moving northward with the fighting currently reported north of Sako Ivansetti and Nikolaevka. With the latest information coming from Raiba saying that they are advancing in the direction of Fidohorivka. Fidorivka, sorry. Fidorivka, which means that they are attacking towards Fidorivka right now. And uh, there is no fighting uh, towards here. Uh, this did not happen. Uh, so this is the, this did not happen. The What is happening is that the Russian forces is actually bombarding uh, Vasyukivka. Uh, this information uh, is reported by the Russian Defense Ministry where they reported that they are using uh, aviation, missile troops and artillery to neutralize the the enemies over at Masu, uh, Vasyukovka, which is Vasyukivka. And uh, over, the, over the general area of uh, the Sivas Front, uh, there is another geolocation by Deep State UA, the pro-Ukrainian source, uh, uh, locating the Russian forces at this position here in this forest line, which also helps us to push the Russian front line forward and the Ukrainian front line backwards uh, to this uh, new line currently like this. Uh, which continue to suggest uh, the progress of Russian forces from Bilohorivka. They moved through the forest where the Ukrainians didn't give up. Now the Russian forces is now here. And uh, they are likely to continue to move on along the forest line uh, further up north with the Ukrainians uh, finding, will probably find this really hard to defend because uh, holding, you can't really sit around this very thin forest line. So they are definitely the Ukrainians probably will be like defending within the forest with the Russians you know, attacking through the forest and uh, using artillery and whatnot to take out Ukrainian forces uh, is a likely uh, scenario which means that the Ukrainians will eventually will have to continue to redraw backwards in a in a tactical manner so uh, towards Vinka and uh, there is no fighting reported at Sperne. There is fighting, however, reported at Vakom Okanyamsky, according to the Rus uh, to, to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. And over at Bilohorivka, there is fighting reported at Bilohorivka, uh, according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. However, rumors are now coming out and going viral uh, that there is reports of Ukrainian forces withdrawing. The acting mayor of Lysysians, uh reported that the Bilohorivka has been uh, abandoned, released. Uh, by the Ukrainian forces, where reports of Ukrainian forces redrawing troops from Bilohorivka due to the deteriorating uh, situation in the Soleda direction, where the Wagner private military contractors captured Mikolaevka and Sako E. Vansetti and moving towards the Sivas uh, Krasny Liman Highway. So, uh, Sivas Krasny Liman Highway is actually uh, this highway here towards Liman. So, this is Liman. This is Sivas. So this this highway is currently. Uh, they say that the Russian forces is moving towards this highway. It's actually still pretty far away. I think that will still take a few weeks before that will happen. Uh, but redrawing and uh, reconsolidating of forces also take time. So you no, know, which is why. Uh, so the rest of the stuff is just uh, their own analysis. I have done a full analysis on this Sivas front and the potential redrawal by the Ukrainian forces and where they might redraw to. You can catch it catch it on the defense politics asia main channel so check out check out the link at the rear of this video or you no know, in the links below and uh you can actually watch this uh full report on this potential ukrainian withdrawal why they're doing it and where they will do it too over the crimea front uh, the crimea offensive continues uh with reports of fighting over in the Serebransky forest tree so uh this this one icon might seem very small, but Serebransky Forestry is actually uh, pretty huge. It's like, this is Serebransky Forestry. So, talking about fighting in the forest, 
could could be actually this big uh the offensive could be this big so uh while it's just one icon uh just want to highlight that you know this might not actually be the uh it doesn't might not do justice to the reality of the fighting over in this region here um there's also fighting reporter at young polifka uh and the the rival reported that the fighting is now two kilometers east of young polifka so two kilometers is exactly where i put the icon uh so the russian forces is currently pushing uh towards young polifka in this direction so uh moving on let me let me remove this uh, uh oh no clear clear okay sorry yeah st still not very familiar with the short key uh moving on uh, further up north there's fighting reporter at Nes nevsky according to the ukrainian defense ministry and uh, further reports from raiba reported that the fighting is still in the area of the Z zaruka guli so zaruka guli is actually you know this uh this the valley here uh, this this valley here this is actually the the the, the zurafka guli so um the fighting is in the region here the last time we reported that the fighting is actually on on this area here on the high ground with the russians capturing this position and uh blackly they are moving uh towards nevsky as we speak moving further up uh to this region here which is kind of rear um uh, rare uh the russian forces is attacking uh near Kama Zinifka. so you know a lot of karma around here you know so you know you do better don't do anything bad here you can get a lot of karma but you will zit it you know then uh yeah then you will nifka it uh whatever that's supposed to mean moving up to the svetove region uh, there is fighting reporter at stemakivka according to the ukrainian defense ministry bombardment is reported at nova Selivsky, according to the russian defense ministry and and that's all from the Svetovay front. Uh, moving all the way to the Kupians front. At the Kupians front, we there's no offensive per se. The fight there's only fighting reporter at Kaislivka. And it's and to be exact, it's not really fighting per se, but it's just the Russians have discovered Ukrainian uh, DRGs operating near Kaislivka. And uh this I would just suggest it to be fighting because uh, sometimes you just this is how you actually discover the drg so it's just you cannot operation if there is ukraine russian forces that they can encounter they will probably have a firefight so it is an attack this is an attack but a, a small one and now uh, that's all from the kupians front uh khaki front wise we do not have any information the entire turnover situation kind of like uh went quiet uh nothing is really reported about the khaki front tentatively and that's all for the summary for the day of 344 for the second of february for those that have not subscribed check your subscribe button uh are you subscribed to this channel if not please press the subscribe button and press the like button to to promote this channel to other people pressing the like button actually tells youtube that you want to promote this video to other people so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next update